Hi ladies, welcome to today's video. As you saw, lots of cleaning motivation coming your way. We are starting in a playroom where there's just some things to put away, mainly some leftovers from our Costco trip and some toys. And today I also wanted to tackle the patio door. I have noticed it was just looking really disgusting in there. You're gonna see it in a second. So I wanted to use my new cleaning tool to clean those right there, that patio door on the bottom all that dirt in there. I wanted to do some deep cleaning and also stay tuned because there is a giveaway in today's video of that particular cleaning tool. So you're gonna see how the tool works and if you want it for free, make sure you participate in the giveaway for your chance to win. So we are starting in the playroom if you see, have seen any of my previous videos, you know that this is one of the areas that we typically have to tackle every week, every other week, because there's just things that pile up. And it's usually just papers. As you see, I'm throwing a lot of things away, um, trying to stay on top of the clutter. And like I mentioned today in that room, we just had some things that I bought in Costco that I needed to put away. So we typically bring it to this room because that's the room that's closest to the garage and anything that needs to go in the fridge, we do a good job of putting that away. But anything that does not, that's the one that typically lingers for the next day when I have just a little bit more time because I typically go on Friday after work um, and usually just don't have enough time or just not enough energy to put everything away. So we're starting there, tackling that mess. Then we're also going to tackle some decluttering of the fall decorations. I wanted to make sure I throw anything away that I did not use this year. So again, one of the things I'm trying to do to stay on top of the clutter, not to kind of start my process of being having a basement that's full of clutter like I did previously. So if you have not followed for a long time, I do have a playlist of what my basement looked like with all the extra stuff that I had and I did not need. And if you are new here, just wanted to quickly introduce myself. My name is Marta. I am a full-time working mom of two. And on my channel, you just see a lot of videos about cleaning, the cluttering, um, organizing, just like home management things from a perspective of a working mom. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure that you do it down below. You've told me more. Then wants to show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of a romance You make me feel so alive If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me And I am super excited to try out a new cleaning tool. What you see here is a VecLife cordless electric spin scrubber VL703. And I want to try it out on that patio door that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, it has some really cool features like um, an expandable handle, an adjustable head brush. It's both of those things just make it, you know, super easy to get into, you know, those like hard to reach places, areas in your house. And my patio door is definitely one of those. Um, and I received this as a gift. And I also partner with VacLive to give one away completely free to one of my subscribers. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and comment under today's video letting me know what is your favorite thing to clean around the house. I think this is just a great way to celebrate reaching 3000 subscribers on my channel and I am extremely thankful for every single one of you. 
Another awesome thing about the VacLife Cordless Electric Spin Scrubber is that it comes with four different replaceable brush heads. So the one I'm using here is the corner brush, and that's the one that kind of helps you get into those corners that are hard to reach. The dome brush is great for things like bed tabs and tile walls. Then they also have the large flat brush. That's awesome for like large flat surfaces, like think floors or staircases. And then the fourth one is a small flat brush. And that one is great for like counters, stove, sinks. And as you saw, that patio door was really disgusting. Um, I honestly don't know if I ever actually cleaned it. Um, but you're gonna see in a minute that this scrubber did an amazing job. Um, I just had to kind of get rid of all the stuff that had actually cleaned out of there. I mean, the buildup over there was ridiculous, but look how clean, I mean, that's just awesome. So if you live in US, make sure that you enter the giveaway. Um, I also have a promo code for your Backlife Amazon store for 20% off. So I'm gonna put it on the screen and also down in the description box. So of course, as soon as I was done with one side, I just wanted to keep going because the results were so amazing. So let me know if you do it as well. Um, I had, did not plan on cleaning everything, but sure enough, I did. So a little sidetracked over there. Um, but you know, once I cleaned the left side, the right side definitely looked different and darker and dirtier. So I wanted to make sure, you know, it's clean on both sides. Um, and it kind of reminded me of doing like spring cleaning because cleaning my windows and like patio doors it's just something I do during spring and also the weather was unusually warm we had it like in 60s which for the Chicago area is just not not very common at all so it's yeah definitely reminded me of spring but also I think this is a great um, cleaning task to do before winter because once it gets really cold in where we live i will not be able to do any of those things uh, for a few months so let me know in the comments how often do you clean your windows and how often do you clean things like i'm cleaning here like patio doors like on the bottom of it because like i said i don't think i've ever cleaned it before and it's kind of embarrassing um and then when i open this door as you can see it's like black inside and that one i completely i don't know forgot that that one is also there it's not only on the left side so this one i had to actually take out a lot of like uh, leaves and sticks out of there before i could start cleaning it there but this one was the worst one actually because which makes sense because this is the one that we use a lot to go in and out but um i don't know it's just so satisfying to see and before and after especially when something is really dirty you and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this filling in I want to dry up but you Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome let us fade away it's not a price i want to pay and it's not too late no we lost our purpose chasing all that surplus you were all that i need i feel that we can break free we can still go back there to a place with no cares we can turn this ship around we can turn this ship around all the way back home So I also wanted to wash the actual door. I did not go as extreme as washing every single window in the, in that room because we have quite a lot of windows in there. Um, but it is something that just now that I have this new cleaning tool, I feel like it's gonna make it so much easier to make sure that all like those bottom portions and even outside, I feel like there's just so many things I can do with that. Um, and I was kind of laughing to myself because, you know, I noticed a trend with myself, like everything like cordless, <laughs> like I had the vacuum, cordless vacuum finally. Um, I have a little tool that I clean my sink with and now this one, and it's just, I don't know, I just started appreciating things that are just convenient, very convenient to use. Um, so now what I also have to figure out a good way to clean my windows outside um, 
If you have any suggestions, definitely let me know. I am typically using like a Windex or this one as a method, but I, I don't know if I should buy like a squeegee, I think that's what it's called, or just something specific for outside because I feel like my windows are just never as clean as I want them to be. And then I moved on to just cleaning some of the toys. And it's funny also because every time I clean in this playroom, it's basically the same things. Like those magnet tiles, they're always on the floor. They always play with them. And my daughter is always having some sort of crayons or other crafts on the table because she is coloring, painting, whatever it is. So they just tend to play definitely with the same things. So as I was putting some stuff away, I did notice that in that white cabinet, there is just a lot of things that we probably will go through. Um, I'm debating whether I'm going to do it before or after Christmas, but definitely one of those uh, because I feel like there's just things we can definitely get rid of that, you know, clutter just kind of sneaked in in them and they definitely don't play with everything. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way, gonna let the past burn down, cause honestly don't want to be stuck in boring conversations with you, with you, I'm gonna leave it all behind, find myself, I'm gonna start a new, yeah, I'm on my way now. In this game table, as I call it, um, we got it for kids for Christmas a few years ago. And they have been using it at first, I, I want to say for, for a while, for a year or two, uh, quite regularly. But for the past probably like six, seven months, they have not used it much. Um, so we will probably get rid of it Um either sell it or just give it, give it to someone. So it has like all different um, things on it, like for um, football and for air hockey. There is, you can play pool on that. There's just a lot of different games you can do. Um, I just don't know if it's because it's kind of tucked in the corner that I don't play with it. I don't know what it is, but it's one of those things, you know, if it's hard for me to get rid of because I know it's a fun thing and it's not an electronic, but at the same time, they haven't been playing with that particular thing for a while. So, um, and we do want to rearrange some furniture in here around Christmas time and put a second TV in there. So, um, yeah, that's probably the plan for, <laughs> for the next month or so where I really need to clear up that space. So I was debating you know, when I talked to you a few minutes ago, whether to do the decluttering before Christmas or after, and it will probably make more sense to do it before, since for Christmas, we do want to get them that um, TV in the playroom. So lots of decluttering coming up your way for sure. Um, and let me know if you plan on doing anything before Christmas. So over the next two months, as far as like decluttering, or is it something that you typically leave for um, January, so after Christmas, after you um, probably accumulate some more stuff as gifts, and then it's easier to declutter the toys when kids have some new ones. I know I did that last year. We did a huge toy declutter after Christmas, and I did find it easier for kids to get rid of toys because they had so many new ones. Um, but I think at this point, my kids are pretty good at getting rid of things they don't play with. Um, I never make them throw anything away unless, you know, they tell me I don't play with it anymore. So either donate or throw it away if it's not um, in, a, in a shape 
that can be donated. So let me know what is your plan or do you have a plan for any decluttering projects this year or early next year. And it's always it's a nice feeling to see the room that is clean and even knowing that the patio door is actually like clean that there is no dirt in there it just makes this so much better just me knowing it like it's just to me it like looks so so clean um, i have been looking at it for a long time so you probably guys are thinking well it's it's just a door but i know i know it has been really dirty for a long time so it was finally awesome to get it done and next I moved on to the basement. So I took out the bin for that I have for Halloween at Halloween, Halloween and Thanksgiving, I guess, for the fall decor. And I, as I started taking things out, I realized that when I was changing the decoration from summer to fall, I just dumped my summer decor or just like, you know, regular decor in there as well. So um, I started separating that and then I really wanted to, like I said, get rid of anything that I have not put out this year. Because if I haven't put it out this year, the chances are pretty big that I'm not going to put it out next year as well. So there is no point of me holding on to it. So I quickly got a second bin to separate the, like, the fall decorations with like a regular summer or just regular decorations. Um, and you're gonna see in a second I was almost ready to put in those two pumpkins back in a fall bin because I was like well I'll use it next year and I had to stop myself I'm like no you're not gonna use it next year you haven't taken it out this year and there was a reason for that because you didn't like it anymore so it's time to just give it to somebody else so uh, most of the things I got rid of um, I just uh, put it away for a donation there were just a couple that were just um, like things that were like um, DIY uh, and I was at uh, that one I threw away but that's the pile to donate in the middle and that's just a few items that I have in two different bins for for different types of decor so let me know how you do it with decorations do you have bins like I do for different seasons and how often do you like go through them do you take them out when you're decorating and whatever you put out stays and whatever you didn't goes away right away which I should have done that <laughs> or um, or do you is it something that you still struggle with that you keep on holding on to things that you don't use but you have a hard time letting go definitely let me know and this is I believe the second day and I'm just putting some things away from the kitchen island where uh, we went to the store we had some things we needed to put away and that that always piles up as well just like our playroom so this is one of the areas I, I definitely every weekend i do have to clear off with anything that we have left over during the week you were my best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing matters. Straight
and of course the never-ending laundry um <laughs> this is the basket with my daughter's clothes that i washed um on the weekends it really depends of how the week is going sometimes i'm really good with doing laundry every other day um so i would do like you know one kid's laundry one day two days later another kid um, but lately at work it just has been insane so even though i do work from home um, i worked overtime and there was just no like chance to step away from my desk to do just put a lot of laundry and i didn't want to put it in because i knew i'm not gonna have time to fold so there are some weekends where there is a lot of laundry that i have to do so i will typically fold it and just put it back in the basket put it in my kids room and they put it away in their um, their closets their dressers and then i quickly wanted to just pick up the rest of the living room um, it doesn't take me that long because we no longer have a lot of stuff in there, so it makes cleaning much easier. Um, so just a few minutes to wipe down the surfaces and then the dining room table. And I really wanted to get the floors done. Um, we have a dog and if I don't like mop the floors at least once a week, um, it just gets dirty really quickly. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? When I blame you for the things that weigh me down Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me Yeah, in the echo of your silence I'm thinking more of her She who wants to study your body Who gets the better version of you And clearly this is another tool, cleaning tool, that's cordless, that I absolutely love. Um, if you have not been here for a while, um, this is something I got for myself um, for my 40th birthday. And I have been very hesitant of getting that because I do have a good vacuum cleaner, also from Dyson. It's just, you know, it was with the cord and it just did not... I could not convince myself that it was a good idea to spend that kind of money on a second vacuum, but I will tell you, I absolutely love it. It just makes it so much easier to vacuum, and also it makes me vacuum more because it's so effortless. I just have to pick it up and start vacuuming instead of dragging the big one from the basement, you know, and coiling the cord, plugging it in, and just walking around with the cord everywhere. So little things like that. Um, I am noticing the older I get, I just appreciate more the convenience of it. So let me know if you are the same way and let me know what kind of vacuum you have. I'm really curious. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. And the funny thing is with the Swiffer, so I typically will use either Swiffer or the Steam Map. My husband was mopping the floor one time a really, really long time ago and broke the handle of this um, Swiffer Map. 
And so I, that's why it's so short, because I just, you know, took out the little broken piece and connected the other ones. And I keep forgetting about that, that I should get one that's longer because I am killing my back over here. So things that are just funny when you, you know, you I do it very often and I keep forgetting to get one that's an actual size because this one is good probably for my kids. But that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to enter the giveaway and I will see you next time.